DW Explainer, True Blood Edition. Okay, so True Blood comes back this weekend, um, and I've never seen an episode. Uh, all I know is that it's about Anna Paquin um, and vampires and sex and, like, Louisiana. Okay, I've got this. So, Sookie is a small-town waitress, but now vampires can live out in the open thanks to this synthetic blood called True Blood, so they don't have to feast on humans. One day at the restaurant, Bill Compton walks in, and he's a vampire, and when he and Sookie lock eyes, they're in love. Kind of. So, Sookie and Bill are the main couple on the show? Not really. Everyone kind of hooks up with everyone on the show, either in real life or in a sex dream. They hook up in dreams? Yeah, so if you drink a vampire's blood, you're gonna have a really vivid sex dream about them. This season, we know we're getting a sex dream between Sookie's brother Jason and super hot Eric. Super hot Eric? Yeah, so Eric is this super hot, bad boy, sexy Viking vampire played by Alexander Skarsgård. He and Sookie actually dated in season four when Eric's memory was wiped by an evil witch named Marnie, but they're not dating anymore. Now, Sookie is dating this werewolf Alcide played by Joe Manchin. There's werewolves too? So there's a lot of werewolf political drama on the show where the werewolves are fighting with the vampires and the werewolves are always trying to figure out who's gonna be the pack master, but honestly, it's the most boring part of the show. Okay, so we have humans, vampires, and boring werewolves werewolves. Anything else? Yes. So in addition to werewolves and vampires, there's also shapeshifters and fairies and witches. Actually, uh, Sookie is part fae. We learned that in the later seasons of the show. Can you become magical or do you need to be born that way? For most of them, you have to be born that way, but anyone can become a vampire. You just have to get bitten and they have to drain your blood and then you get buried and then you're a vampire. How do the humans feel about all this? Well, it depends. Some of them are called fangbangers, and they really like the vampires because they can go to this bar that Eric owns called Fantasia and get bitten and have the marks on their neck, and they don't get killed or anything. It's just like a sexual thing for them. And then there's other people, humans who like vampires because they like their blood. They're called V addicts, and it's like a drug addict thing. It isn't sexual. But there's a lot of people who don't like the vampires at all because they could kill them, maybe. Um, those people want the vampires to be rounded up and killed. So this past season, there's the uh, vampire Vampire Authority, which is basically like the vampire government, but then there's also the real people, Louisiana government, and those people made all the vampires go into this like camp where they ran lab tests on them, but then they were really going to kill them with this like infected true blood. But then Bill, well, let's back up. Bill, a couple of seasons ago, drank this vampire god Lilith's blood and became like super powerful, like the most powerful vampire ever. But then he kind of became evil and bad, but now this past season when all of his vampire friends were in this lab getting tested and about to die, Bill helped break them out of there by allowing the, all the other vampires to feed on his super magical blood so they could all go out into the sunlight for the first time. But Sookie's the main character, right? Where is she? So you already know that Sookie is part fairy, and she's been dealing with a lot of drama about that, figuring out like what her heritage is and where, how she fits into the supernatural world. This past season, she got involved with this part vampire, part fairy guy, Warlow, who was like really hot. So in the last episode, Bill kind of redeemed himself in Sookie's eyes and saved her from a fate of death. Is Stabler still on the show? <sighs> I wish, but no. What about Eric? So when everyone feasted on Bill's blood for the first time, they were all able to go outside in the sun. So Eric hightailed it over to the Swiss Alps and started reading a book naked in the mountains so that he could experience the sunlight for the first time. Wait, naked? Like, full frontal? Viewers pretty much demanded it, and he's Swedish, so he didn't care. Okay, I think I get it. So Eric is Spike, Bill is Angel slash Angelus, and pretty much the Hellmouth just opened. Wait, what? <laughs> 